90% of the time we think the same thoughts as we thought the day before. The challenge with that is the thought that you keep thinking over and over again becomes a belief. And nerve cells that fire together wire together. So the more nerve cells fire, the more they develop long-term relationships and the more hardwired they become. The more hardwired they become, the more automatic they are. The more automatic they are, the more unconscious they become. So the process of change really requires becoming conscious of your unconscious thoughts, which means just because you have that thought doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth. If you have that thought and you accept it, you believe it, you surrender to it without analyzing it, that thought will lead to the same choice, which will lead to the same behavior, which will create the same experience, which then will produce the same emotion. The same emotions then drive our very same thoughts. In time, our biology, our neurocircuitry, our neurochemistry, our hormones, and even our gene expression stays the same because we're the same. So in the process of change, when you come up against that unconscious belief and you make it conscious, most people get uncomfortable uh, when they confront that thought. And they're stopping an automatic process. And the body, which has been conditioned to be the mind because it's doing something over and over again, that's a habit, is craving the experience because it wants the emotion associated with it, right? So the thought of being unworthy produces the feeling of being unworthy. That feeling then when the person feels unworthy tends to cause the person to think more unworthy thoughts. It only takes a thought and a feeling, an image of yourself and an emotion, a stimulus and response, and you can condition the body to memorize that behavior and that emotional state better than the conscious mind. So the moment we inhibit that thought or the moment we become conscious of it and we no longer accept it, there's a biological craving that takes place in the body because the body has been conditioned to be the mind.